Hello, Seabite Seabite 39. Who is a Friday the 13th fan? Um, I wonder if anyone's going to see this. Where can I post it? Um, I love Friday the 13th. Now, unfortunately, 2020 has just been one long horror movie and every day is freaking Halloween and Friday the 13th. So I haven't been as focused on it as other years because I really love horror movies and I loved other Halloween movies and the Friday the 13th movies and um, a lot of movies that had dates or events that are specific to it. So one day when I realized I'm wearing these movies out, I watch them too much, how can I make them um, survive? How can I make them last? I thought I made up rules and traditions. You can only watch Friday the 13th on Friday the 13th weekend. Like you can start after 12 on the Thursday, Thursday the 12th, because technically after 12 it's Friday the 13th, so you can get some movies in that night. And then on the Friday the 13th night you can start and watch all the movies. So I normally marathon um, all, what are we up to now, 10 movies? And um, the reboot, because the reboot was decent. I actually didn't mind it. And I really wish they'd do another film, but unfortunately Friday the 13th is caught up in legal battles, which I, I did a video, I think, six months ago or something, and they still, as far as I know, there's been no progress. They've got the original writer and the original creator arguing over who actually created the characters in the movie, and no one is willing to make a movie or make any progress on um, anything because... They haven't sorted out the copyright, and this could go on forever. Because um, these two guys, like, they're rich enough to just sit and wait and um, let it resolve. And in the meantime, the fans miss out on anything new. So we've got nothing new for Friday the 13th except some fan films, which I might have a look at later. But um, I'm kind of curious what people do for Friday the 13th. I'm kind of wondering if anyone's going to reply in the comments or not. But um, I do my, an not annual, but my um, regular Friday the 13th traditional marathon where I normally watch Friday the 13th 1 to 4 on the Thursday night after midnight and then I watch Friday the 13th sometimes I go to sleep during 5 sometimes I watch start from 5 sometimes I just kind of let it go because technically it's not Jason I used to have a super edited version of it where I could just watch it, it was like 40 minutes it was just the good bits and then the next day I start off from Friday the 13th 6 and that's one of my favourite Friday the 13th because you know it's pretty much the best um, it was scary just like some of the early movies for and two, which were, I think, my, I think the best Friday the 13th. What are the best Friday the 13th? That's what I should be doing. Best Friday the 13th ranking. I'm just, I'm just going to do it now. Friday the 13th. Four, I think, is ultimately the best because the characters, you actually care about them. And I find the last couple of scenes, especially the scene where Jason is trying to kill... Um, oh my god, I've forgotten the character's name. I'm such a bad fan. I know the name of the actress. Trish. God. Um, Jason's trying to kill Trish. And it's just terrifying. Mostly because the actor... The actors basically said, let's try and make this as real as possible. And the stunt guy, he's, he's got the mask on. He's pretty tough. He said, look, just go for it. Just hit me. Just try and stop me from, you know, attacking you. And she does. And it's scary because I think... There is that real panic of that realizing that you actually, this person is this strong and just the reality. It, it's just really terrifying. I cannot watch that scene without just chills. Friday the 13th Part 2. I don't know what it is I love about Friday the 13th Part 2. It just. It just works for me. It's one of my favorites. And I think it ties for Part 6. I think it ties for Part 6. Because 6, it had its tongue firmly in its cheek the whole time. But it still was scary, and it was the only one that actually have kids in the in the camp. The camp was actually running when Jason attacks, and there's a few scenes where he, like the children in danger, and it's and it's scary, and you care about the the lead characters, uh, Tommy and um, I'm not going to forget another name, am I? I'm going to forget another name. Oh my God, what was her name? I know the actress's name was Jennifer Cook. What was the name of the character? Oh my god. Megan. Fucking hell. This is really embarrassing. Um, I'm supposed to be like a Friday the 13th fan making a video about Friday the 13th. I can't remember the names of the characters. Okay. So those are the three best ones. Um, so yeah. So I'm just going to say, I'm just going to announce the best Friday the 13th and we'll leave it at that. Because it's kind of hard to rank the other ones because they all have flaws. Friday the 13th part one, well, you know, in case you haven't actually seen it, I doubt anyone's watching this who hasn't seen it. But I'm not going to ruin that. Um, part five, of course, 
another disappointing surprise, which I won't ruin as well. You know why that's not great. Although, I actually found the film kind of well-directed. Um, so, you know. Seven was fun because of the telekinesis, but it was the, the worst directed. Um, it looks like just straight to video. Um, and there's no tension. Um, the, the kills were all about the makeup effects, and because the makeup effects were just slashed, um, not the budget, I mean they were produced, but um, the producer hated um, the director, who was also the makeup artist, um, designer, that she just vindictively, deliberately just edited, cut all the um, makeup down to nothing, and because he relied on the makeup, it's like a joke about a punchline. The movie is just really flat, and that's kind of his fault. He shouldn't have relied so much on it. He should have built tension into every scene and then had the gore on top of it, instead of just like, well, we got the gore, because that's not horror, that's not even slasher, really. So, but then you get to see, you know, telekinesis girl throwing Jason around, so that's kind of fun. Now, part eight, I don't know why, I have an affection for part eight, because I grew up in this country, I always wanted to go to the city, and just seeing the idea of going to New York, even though you only end up there for like 20 minutes of the film, and then you shot for like one day, you get like three scenes, it still was like the subway scenes, I always wanted to go on a subway, because I've never been on a subway, I lived in a town that didn't have trains, I'm like, it was like a flat town, like nothing, so the idea of a subway and all that, I just, so it's always been an odd favourite, but I know it's not good, so I'm not going to like try and put it above what it actually is. Um, and of course, Jason Goes to Hell, I kind of, it's aging not so well because you can just tell it was made by kids, basically. But um, I still like the supernatural element, and there are parts of it that do really work, and the soundtrack is great. Jason X, I don't know, Jason X is such a guilty pleasure. Um, it's just, it's not great, but it's not bad. It's, it's kind of like um, cable... TV sci-fi with Jason, it's, 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 it's so bad it's kind of good is where it, the level it kind of got to, um, so I do enjoy it, like I mean, you know, it sucks on, <laughs> sucks on, you know, so many levels, but um, it's still good. And then of course Freddy vs. Jason, now Freddy vs. Jason, I normally if I don't get through the Fridays on the second night, I kind of cheat and watch the Jason movies, because they're not Friday the 13th movies, technically. I watch the Jason movies, Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, um, Jason vs. Freddy, although I watch them in, in the chronological order. Um, Jason Goes to Hell, Jason vs. Freddy, Jason X. And I watch them the next day. Sometimes I can get them all in one night, otherwise I do it the other way. I really liked Jason vs. Freddy, possibly because it was one of the only ones I ever saw in the cinema, and I saw it with friends, and... It just was a big crowd pleaser, and it was actually a good film, and I enjoyed it. Um, Jason X was the first one I did see in the cinema, and I loved it at the time, and then it just started to look cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, but then it got so cheap it looked camp. So, like I said, it kind of works. Um, and The New Friday, I do watch that usually. I end up getting to watch that, and I did think it was scary. Jason was a bit too scary. It was a bit too real. You can't really enjoy it. It's a little bit too much like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I like that those series were different. They were all a little bit different, and you could kind of enjoy Friday a little bit more. Texas was just more dis disturbing, and, you know, Nightmare was more, you know, mind-bending. So, and Halloween was just sort of somewhere in between Jason and um, um, Leatherface. But, yeah, I think I just ranked the movies. I don't know. I'm just looking forward to watching them. Only there hasn't been a lot of Friday the 13th this year, so I haven't seen them for a while. But that's what I do. I just watch the Friday movies and just I look through the books. I have the big coffee table book and another book and I sat down one year and read the book the whole day, Friday the 13th, then watched all the movies and it brought a new insight to all the films because of all the little anecdotes and little production secrets that you find out. That was really great. Um, I should reread them again sometime. But um, I've got the dolls. Sometimes I pull them out and actually have a look at them. I've got like the 12-inch um, figures of most of the Jasons. I'm missing the Jason vs. Freddy one, because he's really big, and I think I might have all the Jasons, but yeah, I'm going to go, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, um, what do you think is the best Friday, are you going to be doing something for it, are you going to mar be marathoning or doing something special, I know a lot of people who just watch them whenever they want to, because I'm, I'm on some of the message boards and um, fan groups and stuff, and I'm like, 
I, I just pop up every Friday the 13th and start ranting about stuff and people are like, what's he on about? Like, because like, they're watching it all whenever they want. So, I don't know. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. I'm just going to go and watch Friday the 13th. It's nearly, yep, 6.55. I said 7 o'clock I'll start watching them um, and see how many I can get through before I'm so tired I have to sleep. Um, yeah, like I said, be, I'm kind of kind of stretching my only on Friday, Friday Thursday the 12th and Friday the 13th sort of nights. Um, I'm probably going to stretch it a bit further this year because it's 20, 2020 and the whole year is a horror movie, so um, it's sort of all Friday the 13th, so I kind of think I can push it into Sunday and I'll get through them all anyway. But I'm going to go. <sighs> Bye.